uh, like um, lactose. If you are lactose intolerant, um, they found that uh, there was a positive relation when people consume fermented. So if you're, um, that has the effect on how sometimes it's very beneficial. Um, as well as the food we eat. So we have pesticides on our food sometimes, and that has a huge effect on our gut bacteria. Even medications and chlorine, so tap water, the whole purpose of chlorine is to eradicate pathogens in the water, and yet we're consuming it, and it does have an effect on our gut bacteria. So when we feed our good bacteria, we create these short chain fatty acids. And these short chain fatty acids provide a wide range from regulating the pH, controlling appetite, reducing inflammation. Uh, boosting the immune system. Fermented foods, a lot of people are familiar with sauerkraut, kimchi, um, a wide range of nutrients, a lot of good acids in there, um, beneficial bacteria, as well as a prebiotic for our good bacteria. Bone broth, superfood, yep. so all those sort of um, amino acids I've been talking about, the glucosamine, um, the collagen, it's all found in bone broth. And that's why it's so beneficial um, for the gut. Um, ide ideally, I recommend more of the beef and the chicken side of things due to the high amounts of glycine. And lastly, probiotics. Um, I'm not a big supporter of probiotics. Um, and I don't usually recommend them unless there is an infection going on. Uh -huh. um, the reason is, as you can see at the bottom, so the bacteria in a capsule comparison to the bacteria in your gut is genetically different. So the likelihood of that bacteria staying in your gut is very, very slight. The um, majority of the time they will just be eliminated. Studies have found that there are usually high concentrations of bacteria in your stool as you're supplementing probiotics, and when you stop, you go back to your normal state. They do, however, work on certain levels such as supporting our good bacteria in our gut to multiply, and as well as you know, encourage like producing um, the short chain fatty acids. They do help on that level as well. Okay.